when the series tied at 2-2. The winner of Game 5 goes on to win 72% of the time. LeBron James in the building for this one. Phoenix got off to a great start in the opening quarter, turning defense into offense. They made 11 straight field goals, tied for the longest in a finals game over the last 20 years. It looked like it might be blowout city. Jay Crowder and company, was they were great. They led by 16, but the second quarter, it was like a totally different game. Drew Holiday looking for his offense in this one, strong to the bucket. Next possession, Milwaukee down 12. Holiday feeling that jumper. Suddenly it's a nine point game. Pat Connaughton shot it so well in the second quarter. Misses there, but look at Bobby Portis. Aggressive play, second effort. Portis gets it to go. He had 14 off the bench. Next Suns possession, Chris Paul. No, it's like everything that went well in the first quarter went the other way. Giannis, Portis. Quarter three, just like that, the Bucks led 50-49. Closing seconds of the first half. The alley-oop, keep that play in mind. Middleton to Giannis. Bucks led by three. They put up 43 in the second quarter. Third quarter, Devin Booker trying to keep his team in this game. Took 33 shots in this one. Made 17 of them. The fadeaway J, and then less than a minute later, all the way, Booker played well, but the Buck Stars gave it to him in the third. Chris Middleton lays it up and in. Drew Holiday the steal. Holiday step back. You don't know me like that. Knocks down the three. He was three of six from behind the arc. Giannis steps back himself through three quarters. Giannis had 20. Middleton had 20. Holiday 25. The Bucks unheralded big three in terms of the best big three in the league playing so well they led by 10 going to the fourth quarter. P.J. Tucker no but Giannis there to clean it up. Bucks led by 12. Seven minutes to go. Booker the other way. Up and under and in. Suddenly the Phoenix deficit is eight. Giannis strong. Bucket and one, Milwaukee led by 10. Under six minutes to go, Paul starting to look for his offense. Tough shot, he had five turnovers in game four. He only turned it over twice in this one. 3.30 to go, what a tough shot by Middleton. Milwaukee in front by 10 again. 10 point game, just over three minutes to go. CP3 drills one, it's down to seven. 2.30 to play, it's a five point game. Middleton. Step back three with a defender all over him. Mikel Bridges. Milwaukee led by eight again, but Booker was dynamite. Contested three, he's got it. One of just two threes he made. Phoenix shot 62% from three point range. 13 of 21. Three point game, a minute to go. Paul working on Connaughton. Got it, Suns down one. 20 seconds to go, same score. After a poor shot by Holiday on the previous possession, the steal, and then Giannis in transition. He had that majestic block in game four, the signature alley-oop here in game five. An exclamation point on that one. 123-119, here's Giannis post-game with Malika Andrews. Giannis, just walk me through that steal from Drew Holiday that led to that bucket that ended up sealing you the game. Uh, you know, big time steal by uh, Holiday and great pass. You know, uh, I think the pass was all about trust. Uh, obviously, he could have pulled the ball out, let the clock run and uh, get a good shot, but he, he trusted me. Threw the ball out there and uh, we were able to, um, you know, to get the bucket, so it was great play by Halde. You have had a big individual night in this series. Chris has had a big individual night in this series. But for you, Drew and Chris, all to get going at one time, what does that do for you all? Oh, it means a lot and uh, I think it was, uh, it was the game for us to get going, all three of us. And, uh, and we played great basketball. We kept our composure, even when we were down 16, we kept our composure, we kept party. 
you know, this is the NBA Finals, so uh, you got to give everything you got, and uh, that's what the team did tonight. We saw you give everything you, ha you had. You put your hands on your knees at the end here. Chris Middleton, your teammate, told me that he was hoping you guys would steal this one, to have an opportunity to win it all in front of your fans. What do you make of that opportunity now? Hey, one more to go. One more to go. We got to play, keep playing good basketball. We can't worry about the outcome. We just got to keep playing good basketball, and hopefully we can get a win. What do you personally task yourself with over the next day to prepare for arguably the biggest game of your career? Just recover. Go back home, enjoy, enjoy some family time. Uh, rest, just get away from basketball. Uh, I mean, you know, when we get back in, we gotta be ready. We gotta be ready as a team. We gotta play good basketball, move the ball, be physical, do what we did tonight. And uh, as I said, hopefully we can uh, get ourselves in a position to win the game, but we cannot worry about the outcome right now. We just gotta take care of our body and uh, get back home to our families. Thanks so much, Giannis. Congratulations. The 123-119 win. The Bucks get the first road win of this series. You know they say a series hasn't actually started until the home team loses. It's happened tonight. They can clinch their first title in 50 years back in Milwaukee in Game 6. Bucks just the fourth team to win three straight after falling behind 2-0 in the finals. The 06 Heat and 77 Blazers both closed it out at home in Game 6. I mean, what a series. Tim Legler joining us now. Tim, what changed after that first quarter when the Bucks were down 16 and it looked like the Suns were just going to run away with this game? Well, Drew Holiday put this team on his back in the first half, and I'll tell you what, if, Ashley, if he doesn't play that well in the first half, they're probably down 20 going into the locker room, and I don't think they're coming back from that. So for me, this was Drew Holiday's night from, from the start. You could see his aggressiveness, and they're a different team when he plays this aggressively. And he doesn't always shoot the ball well. We know he was four for 20 in the last game, but I think more importantly, he took 20 shots because he's in that mindset of trying to play like a star. And you know you're going to get certain things out of Giannis and Chris Middleton. Drew Holiday, to me, is the guy that can fluctuate. And in this game, his aggressiveness from the beginning, he got into his mid-range, he got to the rim, he shot deep threes he was feeling it at a time when the phoenix suns were scoring every trip down the floor drew holiday kept his team's head above water kept him within striking distance and gave other guys an opportunity in that second half Giannis and chris middleton at the top of that list to then get them back into it where now they had three stars operating at the same time 88 points between their three best players if you're phoenix you just can't overcome that um, when a team has their three best players play that well offensively. It was almost a perfect game, except for the free throws late by Giannis. Other than that, the Milwaukee Bucks really can't play any better offensively than they did tonight. Drew Holiday was a huge part of that. I mean, it's incredible. Like you said, when you have three guys performing at that level of 32 points, 29 points, 27 points, that's hard to take down. Also hard to take down is Devin Booker. He had back-to-back 40-point -back games, but both were in a loss. How devastating is it for this Phoenix team to get that from your best player and then still lose? Yeah, and it hurts. It hurts a lot, and I think it also tells you a little bit about where the Phoenix Suns are right now in this process. You know, this is a team that's probably still going to need another legitimate star perimeter player to go with Devin Booker if they really want to win a title at some point. Now, look, they're not out of this series. They've got two games to win, but if someone doesn't step up in a big way, and, you know, Chris Paul played well late in this game, but for the most part, he was quiet most of the night. DeAndre Ayton is going to get most of his offense created for him. Devin Booker was the one guy that was out there doing his thing and creating offense. He did it again in the previous game. But when you don't have enough help and now you're going up against a team that has three guys playing like all league players the way that the Bucs had tonight, it's just too much to overcome. So, yes, it's demoralizing. It's deflating. And you wonder, you know, does Devin Booker have another game like this in him? It's really incredible the way that he has played. Uh, but you can't blame him if he finally has an off night. And if he does, where is the offense going to come from to offset what Milwaukee is throwing at them right now? Because they're throwing haymakers at them offensively. Devin Booker is going to need more help than he got tonight. Absolutely. I mean, it was great to see Chris Paul get more involved from his 10-point performance in Game 4, 21 today. But if you're going to try to keep up with the Bucs, that